What's up, Okra Heads? Halo Okra Heads here. Today we're talking about the AI craziness. We're going to get really detailed. So we're going to do two attacks on this base. The first one, um, not from Mia, our clan mate, and the second one from me. So the exact same strategy. Let's see how it's done. Just play so the queen goes down there, then the um, baby dragon. Obviously, the baby dragon will, will make sure the queen will go north. So look where the queen drops so the queen is coming in the clan castles lured all this she's at about three walls in one two three four about between three and four walls there right there at the fourth wall so the clan castle comes a uh, perfectly the queen locks on to the clan castle immediately i mean it's pretty and awesome and then she goes north and that's like okay i'm gonna do this attack that's what i'm gonna do this is easy and this time i'll get the three star i thought i had a good plan for it I thought it was going to go down. So I'm doing the same thing. What do I do here? Uh, the first go round, I, maybe the queen is out a little further, but it doesn't matter. As she paths in, she goes to in the same spot. The baby dragon, same spot. Somehow the baby dragon was a little farther to the right, so it drifted off a little to the right more. Unfortunate, I guess, it's flight pattern. So look, it's at three, the, the walls, three and four, right between three and four. There it takes down the gold sword just like last time and so, look at that because I guess it shifted over to the wizards But look after it hits the wizards. No, it doesn't hit the barbarian or the loons It hits the wall and then it doesn't lock on till it's too late And I didn't want to use a rage because I wanted to save it for the end So I lost the queen I was waiting and it was a bad mistake I should have used her ability, but I wanted to save it because I needed the rage for later So I mean that's crazy. I, I can't do anything about that I mean, that minute detail, you cannot plan for that. I thought she was going to path north. I know everyone else would think they'd path north. So on this one, this is a wall breaker fail. This is what happens when you don't This is learn from this mistake. So if you're dealing with the clan castle, deal with it on the outside perimeter. These wall breakers destroyed my three-star attack. Look what happened. So if I let the clan castle take on the golem on the outside, the queen would have locked on and the poison would have done its thing. Everything would have been great. But as the golem went inside, look at that. There are four or five units on the golem, so the golem goes down way too soon, way quick, and I didn't want that to happen. And because the golem went down early, um, the rest of the way, it didn't provide the tanking needed uh, in protecting the king and even the bullers. So here, just and then this is another more AI unfortunate. So look, my bullers are going to the core, a lot of them. The funnel was there. I knew it was going to be there. But look, none of the healers went with the queen or bowlers. I mean, how unfortunate is that? They went towards the king and the other two, look at those other two bowlers to the north. They're just sitting there. So no healers in the core. So they were immediately destroyed. If I just had those two healers or even one healer, it would have made the difference. Of course, those bowlers are stuck on a wall. Uh, so with two healers. So very unfortunate that's the best i could do i couldn't do any more I, I got i think a 92 percent here but with those healers in the core i think i would have gotten the three star look how close it was just four units and that extra health on the bowlers would have made the difference so anyways you can't plan for things sometimes you know ai does not go well for you if i attack that base probably 10 more times i bet the ai would be totally different and i'll probably get the three star so anyways don't sweat it guys i i give you this video to realize you know if you make a attack like that and you fail don't worry it's okay things happen out of your control so people might be wondering what's the name changes with um my clan so here's the deal we used to be cornhole and someone reported us saying it was an offensive word and supercell i guess they don't understand that cornhole is a beanbag game i guess there's another meaning to it that they went with and so um, Supercell banned our name, and then they gave us Magical Dragon, which is, has more, just as much innuendo in the name. And then so we appealed, and then we're able to get the whole, I, you know, I didn't start this clan. So anyways, there's a brief explanation of uh, the clan change name. But anyways, guys, again, a look at my uh, uh, base, I mean, my, my troops here. But again, take care. We'll see you next time. Halo, out.